come back we're going to talk about the top five tools i have bought for this channel over the years and that i used them like one or two times and realized just weren't working for me Well, it's going on, everybody. This is Patrick, Mid-10 Outdoors. How is my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video is finding you well. Um, well, so over the years, I've been on YouTube for quite some time. I have bought things thinking these would be cool to have on the channel, to use on the channel. And these five things, they're not bad products at all. They're really nice. But I haven't used them like I thought I would. Matter of fact, to me, they're kind of impractical for what I do. Um, especially where I'm at today with camping and that kind of stuff. It just, they, I don't know. Um, maybe I was hoping for the zombie apocalypse to really take hold. It didn't. And maybe that's why I bought some of these. Maybe I thought I was going to be the next... Um, um, I don't know, James Bond or uh, somebody like that, but then, uh, no. Anyway, so let's take a look at these five items. And like I said, they're not bad. They're actually fairly nice. And I keep looking at them because they're right here beside me. But all reputable companies, all of them are, you know, had a great concept. And we'll go over that in some form or fashion here in just a minute. All right, one of my favorite knife companies out there in the world is CRKT. I love CRKT knives. I think they make a really cool, affordable knife, um, usable knife. I, I mean, I own several of CRKTs and I have used them quite extensively over the years. Now, the one tool, when I first saw it, I thought that would be pretty cool. And then I got it in my hands and I said, well, that's not too bad. But when I show you this, you'll understand it's rather large. And that's the Zilla tool that they came out with a few years ago that you literally get a full size plier handle, which is very tough to get open because I've not used it very much. So you get these pliers here which you know you get like i said you get a better handle um but let's face it it's it's not a um, um it's not at all a um, um leatherman's what i'm trying to say it's actually too big um the pack the whole package deal is way too big but i do keep it around and i actually use it from time to time i actually keep it on my table right beside where I sit in the evenings and that way if I need to do some tinkering around I can because it does have a Phillips bit right there people quit focusing on me then on the reverse side it has a flat bit or um, fill, uh, flat style screwdriver bit good lord I can't believe I can't get that out but I, I keep it around for that. I just keep it beside the chair. Um, I don't know. I probably won't ever get rid of some of this stuff because maybe one day it'll be worth something for the kids to sell off when I'm gone. I don't know. But there's the Zilla tool by CRKT. Matter of fact, I don't think it was available for very long because it didn't. You had Leatherman out there in the world and this was just way bigger than a Leatherman all right, as far as blades go, this one is probably the biggest one on the chat. Matter of fact, I'm going to back up so I don't cut the lens. But this came to me through Bespoke Post at one time. And when I first saw it, I thought, oh, man, that's cool. And that's just it. It's cool. Um, I've heard some bad things about them. I've heard that they're pretty decent, but I've heard mainly bad things. Now, let me show you this thing. It's called the Bare Bones. And this thing is humongous. It's like a handheld machete, except for it does have a nice squared edge. 
It's a nice, I've never put a lanyard or anything on it because I'm probably not ever going to carry it. Um, I'd be a, I don't know. I, I just, I've heard some bad things about them breaking, um, which kind of scares me. Now, the, this is supposed to be a, an American company, I think. Um, I would imagine this was probably made somewhere else. I don't know. Um, there's not really any markings on it. Now, where I think they chinsed off is the sheath. The sheath is like a nylon with a plastic insert, and it's got that clip on the back for carrying, which I'm not a fan of at all. Um, and then I'm not really sure what the leather, one piece of leather, actually there's two pieces of leather. There's the part that holds it on there. And then this part of the leather, I'm not sure why. You went chintzy on the rest of it, but you want to throw a little piece of, I'm sure it's imitation leather, I guess you could say, um, on it. But it's cool. I mean, it's got its cool factor to it. I mean, imagine somebody walking through the woods with that dangling off of them. I wouldn't want to mess with them. Okay, so this next one is another, like I said, good company. I'm not down in the company at all. When I first saw this thing, I thought, man, I really want that knife. This is a knife. And um, I got it, and I, I still like it and everything. I think it's just a little bit too big, I guess, is what my biggest problem with it is. But it's this thing right here. It's the Charade uh, Griffin Design SCHF9. And it's this big bad boy. Well, I mean, I got back up to get it all the way in the screen. But... <sighs> It's a, it's, it's a nice, hefty knife. I guess if I was, I mean, you can really choke up on this thing to do things with it. And I know this is about the time that, you know, dual survival and all that stuff was really big. And you had your, um, you know, back when bushcraft really started, um, this was a introduction or a, inexpensive I guess is what I'm trying to say way to have a nice big knife I think it's a little too big the one I actually carry quite a bit camping is way smaller than this thing but the sheath even screams either you know because you've got another small sheath right here you do have a plastic insert you have a way of securing the blade inside the sheath with a snap you have the sheet, like I said, the sheet's well thought of. You have a way of taking it off if you need it to. Well, yeah, no, because the Velcro's, you actually go under the Velcro to put it on your belt. But then you have more attachments. You could put this on Molly, I guess. You can actually take this off. You have two holes here that you could put a um, leg. I can't even think of it right now. But uh, it even has a lanyard hold. You could put a lanyard on it, and I would want a lanyard on this big son of a gun so it wouldn't go slinging out of your hand. But it, it's, it's not a bad knife. I mean, I like the concept, but it's just too dab blame big to be carrying around very much. And like I said, you can get that second choke right there and really do some fine work with it, and then you can go back to a normal hold on it. But, and you've got a lot hanging out the back. So, like I said, it's just too much of a knife for me to carry. Um, that's why I don't carry it. Um, but it, it, I, will I ever get rid of it? I don't know. Will I ever get rid of any of this stuff? Probably not. Just hold on to it for the kids to have fight over or something. But um, it's got a kind of, oh, in the grips, kind of a rubbery. So I guess wet hands, it would be pretty good. It's real really good and checkered like you can see that right now um so it's not a bad knife it's just too big for me to tote around um like i said it's another one of those things you see that dangling off of somebody walking through the woods you probably scare them but anyway so that's the charade so the next two items are from what i consider a fairly good company um make really good uh, Inexpensive, well, not inexpensive. Some of this stuff's kind of expensive, but they make um, really nice stuff, but at an affordable price. 
The next thing, I think about everybody in the country ended up one of these for Christmas one year because Walmart sold them as a Christmas item one year. And that's the SOG, I think it's called the Hawk. It's this little Tommy Hawk thing. Let me get your way back here. I did put a lanyard on this thing at one time. This was the sheath. Um, the sheath to me was the biggest killer of it after I got it because you have no way of attaching that to a belt or anything, which I guess you really wouldn't want to. Um, it's actually sewn on both sides, so there is no way of slipping that in. And you have a very little blade cutting surface. Of course, it's a hawk, tomahawk. Um, this was made for killing zombies, basically, I guess it was. And that, that was its sole purpose was a, I think to me personally, I mean, if you threw hawks all the time, okay, it's pretty cool. I actually have an older, um, uh, more like a, a Native American hawk down below. I don't mess with that either. Um, I never really got into throwing tomahawks, but I know it's a thing. Um, and I've seen people on YouTube tossing these around quite a bit, but uh, it was, to me, it was a gimmicky thing. Like I said, it's kind of like that behind me. That was a gimmicky thing I did a long time ago, um, painting it green and everything and putting the outbreak response team on it. I actually had dreams and aspirations with that thing <laughs> it's funny but anyway um so this is the sog hawk i'll put the exact name down below if i can find what they actually called it if, if you're screaming and want to type it down below go ahead so that's the sog first sog on this list so the next sog <laughs> it's on this list um oh this is where i think my um Going to be James Bond, going to be uh, um, Jason Bourne type thing was coming in play when I saw it. I said, oh, I got to have it. Got to have it. And I, I think I have carried this thing three times and that's it in its lifetime. It's been with me. This is the SOG Pentagon. Hard sheath knife. Uh, it's a really nice sheath. It locks up really good. Um, You've got a little belt loop. This is meant to wear inside your belt, pants uh, with the blade and everything on the inside of the pants. This is the other thing sticking on the outside. It is a double-sided or dagger style blade, serrated at the top and flat on the bottom. I say flat, it's not a flat grind. Um, but anyway, it's, it's, a, it's a neat little knife. Has a lanyard hold, you would not put a lanyard, I wouldn't think, on something like this because this is more of a mm, mm, mm type knife. This is not a, I mean, I guess you could use this for processing tender and stuff, but good Lord. I mean, all the serrations and stuff that's on the blade right there, I hope you can see it. I hope it's not focusing on me, but all the serrations and everything that's on the blade, um, you wouldn't want to choke up on it too much. You're going to get hurt. Um, but it's it's a it's a it's a niche knife. So I guess if I had become Jason Bourne or if I had become James Bond, this has probably been carried around quite a bit. But as a camping slash adventure slash whatever else you want to call me, YouTuber, nope. <laughs> It serves no purpose for me whatsoever. Um, but will I get rid of it? No, probably won't, probably keep it. Um, if I remember correctly, this one wasn't cheap when I bought it. I imagine now you can get them fairly cheap, uh, fairly inexpensively. So that's my uh, top five uh, cutting tools or tools for camping or whatever you want to say that I don't use because it just... I just don't use them. Um, I don't know why. I, I mean, some of them I look at and go, why? I mean, this is one of those why purchases later in life. This, I uh, understand why I got this. This is through a box service at one time. After getting this, I was disappointed in how dead gum big this thing really is. It's huge. It's humongous. Um, 
I thought this was a good idea, but after having it in hand and working with it a couple of times, I realized it wasn't that great of an idea. And that's why you don't see it anymore out there in the world. And let's face it, I was never going to be Jason Bourne. So anyways, guys, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I, I was sitting there trying to brainstorm of something to come up with. And I thought of this and because I actually found all of these here in the last couple of weeks. Um, these two items were actually, actually, these four items were in the house in the in either the bin room or the den um the other one i found under the workbench over here the sog hawk or tack a hawk or whatever you want to call it uh i actually found under the workbench the other day looking for something so anyways guys that's it for this one i appreciate you watching i hope you enjoyed it if you want to see more like this let me know down below, uh, leave a comment, thumbs up, subscribe, do all that good stuff uh, as we're still trying to get those 4,000 watch hours and we're in 2024. I'd love to get it this year. So help me out all you can, share the videos and we'll see you on the next one. Be prepared.